So I want to share with you today a new report that QuickBooks Online have recently issued. So if you were to log into your QuickBooks, you would come to your dashboard, should hopefully look like the screen a bit like this. And then on the left hand side, you've got the option for reports. Now in the report section at the top, you'll have favorites and QuickBooks normally defaults to these common three reports. However, if you were to scroll down, you'll see a long list of other reports that are available in order to allow you to manage your business. So the one that we're going to have a look at in a bit more detail today is profit and loss by month. Now I would suggest having that report in your favorites. So it's at the top of the screen and you use that on a regular basis. And you do that by just clicking the star here to the right hand side and it will go green once you hover over it. And if you click it once, it will then appear up here in the favorites. Let's click on that. Now once the report's been run, what QuickBooks tends to do is run it for the current date that we're that we're in. Now for this purpose I'm going to change that so we get a bit more data. Likewise for yourself, if you've just passed the financial year end and you're looking at the previous year and how you did, then I'd suggest you do the same. And for the sample company that I'm in, the financial year runs with the calendar year. However, if yours doesn't, then within this drop down list here for the date ranges, um, you would expect to see this financial year, this financial year to date, along with last financial year. So if we click last year, that's going to run the report for the 1st of January 2019 to the 31st of December 2019. And let's run the report. Now what you can see here then, is you've got a separate column for each month of the financial year moving all the way along and you've got a total column here. Now what that allows us to do is to review through that and see whether the results are in line with our expectations and also to highlight any potential missing costs or even revenue. For example, November, we've got profit here of £6,153. You might have thought in your minds that you've done better in November. So then we'd then look through there in a bit more detail and understand why. For the costs, we've got, for example, we've got depreciation expense here. And we can see that depreciation started in April, nothing for the first quarter, but we may not have had an asset or any assets purchased up until that point. You can see then depreciation is going in each month through to June. And then for the second quarter, it's been posted as a total for the three months, which is in line with the previous quarter. However, for the final quarter, we haven't got any which indicates we're missing some costs there. Another example, we've got insurance here, 750 pounds per quarter, which seems reasonable on the face of it. However, if it's 750 pounds a month, then we're missing an awful lot of cost there. And then another function of this report is you can also compare this against previous periods. So here you've got compare another period. You click the drop down option 
we've got previous period, previous year, and year to date. Now what I'd like to do here is click the previous year, run the report, and then you can see that we now have a current column and then a previous year for January 18. Now unfortunately, the summer company doesn't have any data in there for the for December 18 financial year. However, if your business has got historic data been trading for more than one year, then you'd expect to see some comparisons to be made. And if that's the case, then I would suggest you use the percentage change function. And then that will also show you as a percentage how much revenues and costs have gone up or likewise come down. So that's a quick run through of the profit and loss by month report available within QuickBooks Online. If you have any questions on that, then please get in touch. Craig.weavers at lambert-chapman.co.uk